So this is our of review Wonders. of Wonder Woman. To start off, uh, let's just get into what is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is the first female directed movie mm. in the DCEU. That's a fact. Um, it is. It's also the first movie ever made to have over a hundred million dollar budget. Yes. Made by a woman. Right in any, uh, you know, cinematic universe or <laughs> in or any lack thereof. This is the first movie <laughs> directed by a woman, Period. given over a hundred million dollars in their budget. Period. Period. End of story. Not superhero movies. Mm -mm. Not, not extended universe movies. Not a blockbuster. Just in general. Mm -hmm. So and then Ava DuVernay is the next one with a, yeah, a wrinkle, wrinkle in, in time. time. That's gonna be a good one. Definitely. Very cool though. So this movie in itself, with that being said, ching! Oh, I just punched the mic. Oh my god! <laughs> if you are listening to this on audio, just go watch the video. Watch me do a poor. This is the if first time I've done the Wonder Woman thing. Headphones, we we are uh, sorry. That sorry. was. Uh, I, I apologize on behalf of Garrett for anyone who had headphones in right now and yes. is now uh, mm -hmm. suffering. Uh, yes, sir. Deafness. Yeah. But I did do the Wonder Woman ka -ching, so there's that. I am uh, being progressive, and I have seen all the movies. I'm being progressive? Our... Yeah, dude, this is present-day culture. If I'm you, progressive. If you didn't go to the movies in the past four days, you don't know what ka is. I'm ahead of the curve. Hey, oh, whoa, hashtag Wonder Woman. Lottie, Uncle Tom, dog, Garrett, has Just, his arms crossed. Do I look like the Wonder Woman emoji like this? Is there an emoji? Yeah, if you put hashtag Wonder Woman a little. A little ah, I did not know that. That's cool. Comes up. Anyways, yeah, ka -ching. Uh, As much as this movie is all those things with headlines like what we just listed are a bunch of headlines mm -hmm. but this movie actually came through and delivered on it and that's kind of like the harder thing is like we could have lived in a world where the number one movie for a woman like being all this stuff it could have been overshadowed by a terrible movie but this movie being good is ultimately just catapulted for all the progressiveness and all the political stances and all the political like emblems that we will remember in the books of mm -hmm. movies this movie actually stands on its own as well yeah. and that is the beautiful thing coming away from it after we're, we're reviewing this on monday it just came out on the last thursday right uh, yeah. yeah yeah we saw it thursday technically night technically friday Kyle really, saw it twice really i've seen thursday. it once um but there's something really beautiful and poetic. No, there is something the really beautiful about this of movie. This movie. Um, it's directed by Patty Jenkins. Should have said that. She's the woman who got the over $100 million. <laughs> wow. Uh, she's she's the, the woman. She, she's the, <laughs> sounds the like one. A, sounds like a C Cameron Diaz comedy. She's the woman. Like, yeah, right. Jesus Christ. With, with Ashton Kutcher and Cameron Diaz and she's the woman. <laughs> like, dude, I could totally narrate that trailer. Anyways, Patty Jenkins, Gal Gadot. Actually, I actually have a, I'm working on a script for a movie about millennial men and just the trends that they've gotten into. You know, the, the man buns, now the clip-in man buns, the male rompers. Wait, there's uh, clip-in man buns? Yeah, that, that, that's a new thing, and I don't want to go, I don't want to take too too much time because this is just a joke. <laughs> Welcome to the Wonder Woman review. We're going to talk about man buns. I did, I did start writing a joke about me making a script for a movie about millennial men called He's the Woman. Okay, all right. So, all right. but now that, now that we've gone too far into okay. rambling, yeah, that joke's fine. not even no, funny. We only offended about a third of our uh, friends. <laughs> That's okay. We have a lot of feminine men in our in our lives. It's all good. Uh, all Talking about you, hopefully, if you're dad. listening. <laughs> oh, I was I was saying my dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Aha, got him. Ha. Any, any of my roommates are on here right now? I think you're all feminine. Yes. Uh, even though I've um, actively talked about being being the cleaner one. <laughs> What's your okay? Uh, you've seen Wonder Woman twice. What is your overarching opinions? I, I, Give me I like a paragraph movie, of how you feel about the movie after seeing it twice. Okay, um, I I love this movie. I think that um, save for a few lines here and there, and maybe I I can't even say a, a quick edits because I didn't notice them. But like I did notice a couple lines. But save for a few lines, I think this movie is probably a perfect superhero movie in my opinion. Okay, uh, or a perfect superhero movie by my judgments. Yes. Um, it's yeah, like heavily, heavily emotionally. Um, involved i would say I, I i mean from the first scene in the first time we watched it we missed a good portion of the beginning of the movie apparently which i can't believe because we only went in like five minutes late not even fucking around yeah. i was on the phone with my credit card company <laughs> <laughs> that's why i missed the beginning of fucking yeah movie. right it's some shit man it's some shit so but anyway um even even missing a good portion of the beginning of the movie mm -hmm. when we first went in and we see uh we see the First, I, I don't want to fuck with spoilers yet because it's the nope. beginning. But yeah. you know, you you see that first loss, and you're like, oh god. It's not even a it's not even a big character. It's just one 
just one swing. Oh, my bad. No, uh, it's just one swing, and you just see someone die, and you're like, oh, oh what the fuck? Seeing it the second time, mm-hmm. what we missed was, uh, you know, young Gal Gadot, or not young Gal Gadot, young Diana learning about her... Um, her history, how she was sculpted from clay and Zeus gave her life and that was how she was born. Uh, it was her being told that story by her mom and then her sneaking off to watch the other women like learn how to fight. And when you see that island, when you see um, Themyscira and the camera pans over and you just see nothing but these warrior women being total badasses like... Patty Jenkins loved slow mo in this movie, and definitely, I I usually hate when people fuck with slow mo that much, but I think just the way she did it, I loved it. When you see, um, actually, I'm gonna have to look up the name because I I, I can't understand of the people. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, just I'll the, pull up the cast. Keep talking. You know the the one that um the the one that dies early in the beginning. I, I believe it's her oh, aunt. Yeah, but fine. I don't know what her name is. Um, cause we'll be okay. I, you know, their accent is fucked. But when you see her aunt jump off that shield in the very beginning and then she turns around with the three arrows and it's all slow-mo, the whole move is just <sighs> slow as fuck, but then <laughs> don't badass. Like it was badass. Like that slow-mo, that use of slow-mo, I think was perfect. And I usually hate slow-mo, but I thought that was awesome. Um, when you see them training, when that camera pans over Themyscira Connie for the Nielsen, first time, right? yes. Yeah. Hip, hip, hip. No, 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 not Connie Nielsen. Sorry, Hippolyta is her mom. Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh, Robin Wright is uh, Andy Elf. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, that's that's her. When you see her jump off that shield in the very beginning, oh, my God, like, that's just awesome. And you get a lot of that slow-mo when you see them training. Like, you'll see just moves, and, like, someone will do this, like, crazy flip over someone, or someone will do, like, a barrel roll in midair. uh, You see even Gal Gadot, when she's training, she does this crazy... She does this crazy move, and she comes over, and she's, like, completely backwards like that, and the sword's coming over, and you're just like, oh, she's going to hit someone real fucking hard, and then the camera, or the the shot speeds up again, and just, bam, she smashes someone. It's like, dude, this is some really, really awesome, like, really awesome stunts, like, stunts and filmmaking stuff. like Choreography. Yeah, like, not just the scene itself, not like, oh, that'd be so cool if that was actually happening like that. Like, no, that actually was happening. Someone did do that move, and then it was shot, and just the way it was shot made it so much better, and it blew my mind, because, like, I keep saying, I'm not the slow-mo guy, and then when I see this slow-mo stuff, I'm like, dude, that's, I could do that. Like, all right, I could, I could, I could live this way. Like, that's yeah. cool. So to run through the cast real quick, we got Gal Gadot as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, Chris Pine, Street, Steve Trevor, Robin Wright as her mother, David Thewlis as Ares, uh, Danny Houston uh, as a uh, General Ludendorff. Sorry, I'm reading the IMDb. I guess. Sorry. <laughs> Only Elena thing I know Anya. is that uh, I've, heard, I've heard said Godot. I don't know if it's Godot it, or Godot. It's Godot. Oh. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said Godot. Mm, no, definitely didn't say Godot. <laughs> Gadot. Maybe I did say Gadot. And if I did say Gadot, <laughs> I'm sorry, because I've been trying to cut to get to the get the Israeli Gadot. <laughs> Gadot. Gadot. Are you fucking happy? Are you happy, Kyle? I am. I will walk out of this if you comment on Gadot versus Gadot one more time. I will, <laughs> hey, I'm I will just leave. saying, I thought you said Gadot. It's all good. I pr- I pr- <laughs> there was one episode where you were like, you just said something just now, and I said, oh yeah, earlier when I listened back, I said it like two seconds prior. So I have no short-term memory where it comes to what words I just said prior. So oh, awesome. It's all good. Connie Nielsen, Ewan Bremner, Lucy Davis, Saeed, Tog Mahawi, uh, Ann Wolf, and that's about it. Samantha Joe and Dotson Crois. Cool cast. Dotson? Cast honestly Dotson is... Dotson Crois was in there? Yeah, she was one of the, the Who women. Who plays Dr. Moreau? I, I need her name. Dr. Uh, Poison? Yeah. Elena Anaya. Elena and I, I don't know. Never seen her in any other movie, no. from to my knowledge. Uh, I thought she was all right, though. I mean, f- hey. she wasn't the focus of this movie, obviously. By no means. And I don't think she should have been, but uh, she was, you know, she was cool. Like, her, her character was done well, I think. I don't know, man. She was one of the people who I didn't, their performance didn't line up with me. Okay. Like, it just didn't. Um I think the first time through I thought that, and then the second time through I was like watching it, and I was like, you know, I, I guess if I think about it a different way, because I don't know what it was. I think there was something I heard, but it just—it was her voice the first time I watched the movie. It was that that weird, 
way she kind of whispers that's what I'm saying, through man. her lines. It's like a yeah, that's 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 like you're you're in my opinion watching that, I looked at it as your it's a your, gimmick. You're relying on a gimmick or a crutch to get you through like to allow yourself to portray this certain character i i and like that. the diabolicalness didn't need to be there as much as she was putting it to the nth degree actually actually to convey now her like evilness now that you, you know mention I mean? it you're absolutely right and but I, that character I, I, isn't I, the one that we need to give a fuck about right, just exactly. to preface the people <laughs> no, that shouldn't no, share you, like uh, scare you share you not even the main villain really hell no there's so there's like two other ones. Yeah, exactly. There's <laughs> there's two other ones. One of them's bigger. One of them's huge, but you don't even know mm-hmm. until later on. But her her part is necessary to the story, so I figured it was you know worth mentioning. But now that you now that you talk about it, I do remember there's one line that I still even with the second time through, and I was like I still like her. I hate this line when she's talking about the new gas that that they created, and she goes, "It's going to be." terrible was that like, was the worst line yeah, of the movie that's, that's so that bad. was so bad yeah like that's so bad so like bad. you didn't need that pause so like no, bad. nobody in real life talks that way either so like i don't care how evil a person so is bad. nobody actually just does bad. evil just bad. dramatic just pause bad. fucking bad no she could have just been like it's gonna just be terrible just terrible you know but it she, was terrible it's gonna be terrible <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, yeah, exactly. That's how I felt. Yeah, keep going one more time. No, no. I was almost. I know. Uh, yeah, you almost you just expect that laugh. <laughs> no, it's that one. Like <laughs> he just fucking trips and extends the note on too long. It's not even a laugh. It's just like a screech. It's just like someone on the on the audio board was like, "All right, let's just stretch this note." <laughs> oh man that's great um what i will say though is that if that's the worst thing that we're putting forth then that shows how good this movie yeah, is seriously. how good the performance gal gadot she's not the not the best actor prior to this movie you watch this movie she does nothing bad as far as a leading woman in a movie like this as yeah. far as being the protagonist and putting the movie in the places where it needs to be for the character in this case diana prince she sets her up beautifully to where when you finally see her as the wonder woman that we kind of see in batman be superman it almost blends more because oh, thing while she's not wearing a mask you still can look at wonder woman and say i know there's a person behind that mask and that's something very hard to do do when you are playing these boisterous personas in like superman movies you yeah. know what i mean like it's hard to kind of see that luckily clark kent is so rooted in the mythology of what superman is that you can't have a superman movie as much as i would like to see one without clark kent right you just can't like it's just not fundamentally there as far as what the character has been created to do in service but with this movie there's enough in diana prince to where if you're not sold on wonder woman yet by the time you get to the point where you should be sold on wonder woman the one scene in particular, uh, when she's going across the battlefield, yeah, no spoilers yeah, we'll yet. There. Um, that part in particular, you see Diana Prince in Wonder Woman, and then the minute that she gets like stands and walks across, that's Wonder Woman. But you still see like, no, that's Diana's principles yeah. being applied in a Wonder Woman like yeah, way, yeah, exactly. and that's important. So as far as Gal Gadot, does she have any scenes that's like? Oh my God, she's the next Oscar winner? No, not at all. No, no. Not in my opinion. Um, the but one I don't who really think this was that movie. That's not know? what was needed. Like, I, I think this is th- her stepping stone to to make that movie maybe one day. I, like someone's yeah, gonna be like, oh, I want Wonder Woman in my my indie movie. Yeah, this know? is a great career move, but it, it's important that she she found something in the Wonder Woman character that wasn't in when like Linda Carter was. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, she made Wonder Woman her own, and it's very cool to see that happen. It takes a particular actor. While she may not win Oscars, like we're saying, it's a very important. And I don't even know if Lexi Alexander could have done that. Not Lexi Alexander. Fucking what's the girl's name? Who's Sif? Lady Sif? Uh, something Alexander. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Jamie Alexander. She was the one who everyone's like Wonder Woman. She's gonna be Wonder Woman. <laughs> she should be. She screen tested. She didn't get it for a reason, and we just saw why Gal Gadot got got it. Well, I would say that she's probably. See, there you go. Say Gadot. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> Caught me. Damn it. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Ga- ga- it. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Now you could uh, let us know what I'm you think of this review. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> Fuck your point you're about to make. I gotta correct your ass. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, no, you're good. You're good. I just heard myself. I was it like, needed to oh, happen. I needed some serviceability and therapy in my life, and thank you. Now I know <laughs> that I do fuck up. Just so you know. 
<laughs> People are gonna just, be like, "Wow, those guys he, are real." This, this guy really like, thought he they're didn't. real pretentious. This guy really fucks. thought he never fucked up before. This <laughs> guy just a, pointed it out to him. Really, guys, watch any of the podcasts and find all my editing <laughs> fuck ups, please, please. There's plenty of fuck ups. We are in a fucking bedroom. Um, what I would like, to, my point is, is that regardless of her performance, while it's not the best thing in the world, it's so important. Like the quality. That's what I want to talk about about her. Mm-hmm. Like how important this character is. Like you can anybody in their lo- anybody in the world can look at this movie and just say, "Oh, it's just a movie. It doesn't matter." But if you apply this movie and what they're saying to life, if you apply these these points that they're making in this movie and apply them to our lives, like they're saying something and they're showing us something that I think we all just as people need to accept, and that is that the world is changing. And it's changing into something that can be really good for everybody. And like, it's so, it's so subtle the way they show it to you in this movie in some parts, and it's not subtle at all in other parts. And one of the, the one of the things, there's three things that I think that this movie is um, important for. If you're if we're gonna take if we're gonna take movie points and apply them to life, I think the three important things are that the, she is now a symbol for female empowerment. And I know that there's all kinds of people on all all the way across this country and maybe the whole world who are gonna say, well, we don't need more symbols for female empowerment. Then and you're wrong. You don't have. There's no limit on symbols for any empowerment for anybody anybody can feel more empowered and that's never a bad thing as long as you choose to do something good with it you know so she is a symbol for empowerment and uh, you can see that it's clear in one of the scenes that you missed and uh when i saw it i was like dude i fucking love this in the very beginning you just being like dude i'm gonna drop so many fucking parts of scenes that garrett missed yeah just just, rub it in his face just little thing no 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 i need to see the movie again i'll get it more like just more like dude you, you fucking yeah exactly you have to see the movie again and experience the beginning of this shit because it makes it so there's like two lines that i think needed to not be in the beginning of the movie because even though i had already seen the end and i know spoilers? how it ends, sorry uh no no, no i'm not right. gonna say what gotcha. the lines are but there are two lines in there i think kind of make the ending would this, obvious would or this very point much more be better if we could go into spoilers do you want to just say, no, okay, no, no, okay no it doesn't just wanted matter. to uh no I want lynch pinning us to like certain things no 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 you're good these yeah. these all my points here are non-spoiler because i i figured i think i want to tell this to everybody you know mm. not just people who've seen it so anyway the for female empowerment in the very beginning you see young diana prince like i mean maybe I, well she's technically she's just diana then mm-hmm. but young diana she's like five ish or she looks like a five-year-old and she's running around she sneaks away from her teacher from someone who's like trying to teach her like studies and shit and um she's like fuck this i'm out and bails and she goes and she watches all the women training on the island and she's Ew. like watching them uh like every little thing she's seeing them fight each other she's seeing them fight dummies she's seeing them practice sword fighting and everything and she starts like she's looking and then she just starts shadow boxing you just see her she's little five-year-old girl like just super excited yeah fucking mm, uh, 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 fuck yeah, uh, uh. And she's doing like punching moves and everything and you're like dude like, think about when you were a little kid and how many movies were there that were for girls to be like, oh, yeah, I want to do that. I want to go fight things. There weren't that many. And I, I like this is one movie and I still think there aren't that many. There's one. And I will throw this out there. And it's just because it's a fact. It's not portrayed in the best way. It's definitely like if this movie was made today, it wouldn't be in the sense that it was. Mm-hmm. And the differencing factor for me is you saying for girls. Cause like alien like four girls. Yeah. Like alien. That's a fucking empowering oh, yeah, no, movie for women. Cause no, you're there's seeing plenty of movies that are not specifically for women mm-hmm. or for girls and they're not directed to make girls feel better about themselves. That yeah. could make women and yeah. girls feel better about themselves. There's plenty of those and there's plenty on, there's plenty of that for men too, but like literally directed at girls. Like that's hey, what I'm saying. Like hey, the way little girls, guess what? It's cool to be fucking badass. It's cool to fight. It's cool to be able to kick a dude's ass. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just think that the things with I'm just putting it to Ripley is like people put like L Ripley as like the first female important oh, yeah. character and I would make an argument for that like against that is that these are all things that we're finding that aren't externally like that we have to actually like output into our brains whereas this movie stands as a fucking movie 
for what you are saying. Mm -hmm. Like it physically shows this. Whereas Elle Ripley, it's all external things that we find from her actions. And it was more but that her, she just had to survive, you know? She exactly. was just doing what needed to be done. This is this little girl mm -hmm. like wanting to fight. Like, Well, it's also like Elle Ripley's like the first non-damsel in distress. Yeah. But yeah. that as a core has to happen because she's at the forefront of the movie. Right. And her... It's hard to word. How do I word it? I'm trying to really put this together. I'm saying that like we look back at Elle Ripley being important as a character for women mm -hmm. because of all the things that she did. Whereas this one, it's almost like because she was. Like you look yeah. at this movie and from the fucking start in the roots of this character, you are seeing certain things being embodied that are straight counter reflective of what the past films have been just in history yeah. no and absolutely. like we pinpoint ripley because we're like oh that movie was kick-ass she did all those kick-ass things and it's more than that and you know but the one i was gonna say is gi oh Jane. yeah oh Jane. fuck yes thank the, you shaving thank you yeah, for that, uh, better. that yeah better high five <laughs> Thank you for that, man. No Nobody, pussy high fives I feel like, like most people I know either haven't seen that movie or dislike that movie. And if you dislike G.I. Jane, I don't even want to talk to you about it ever again because I fucking love that movie. D you don't want to talk about it? I, no? I just, that's why I was good at it. I said it oh, doesn't man. speak to the quality. No, I'm saying I don't like G.I. Jane. Like, I don't think it's a good movie yet. Like, yeah. I'm saying it's the quality of the movie doesn't stand up for what that movie does. But just as an image, like a bald-headed woman, like, that is Oh man, I feel, I feel like I want gets. you to rewatch that movie. Now. Maybe Isn't I could. That, yeah, was yeah. It Ridley Scott. I think. Yeah, yeah, that yeah was, that's yeah, Ridley yeah. Scott. Yeah, yeah. no, Shout no, out no to him, I, man. I love that. He movie. wrote the character of Ripley and every other character in the movie, the original Alien. Mm -hmm. the, all those characters were written as not like they didn't have a sex. Like they could be either or. Like yeah. Ripley was written as it could be a man. Yeah, it could Ripley be a literally woman. could be any. Mm -hmm. Like because that was her last name. Yeah, exactly. Ellen's her first, but you know that's probably written. Could out. have been Ethan Ripley. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I just wanted to pinpoint that like this is the first time, and we are talking about thirty fucking years in the future from when Aliens was made. Yeah. Like look at and the progressiveness like, like of where we are after as a culture. Too. Yeah, but as a culture, man. Like, it's beautiful. Like I know. It's really yeah, beautiful. It's, it's, Go it see this beautiful. movie for it's that moment alone. It took so long, but it's yeah, beautiful but. that we're finally here. And I think now, when those movies were made, people weren't talking about it the way they're talking about Wonder Woman now. When yes. they made, when they're, now that Wonder Woman's out, when they were making it and now that it's out, people are like, act it like we are, like right now. We're not the only ones to making these points. And I think that's really cool because these are points that need to be made. Yeah. And it, on top of all this, she, Gal Gadot, is not the only symbol of female empowerment in the movie. You know, mm -hmm. it's like everybody. Um, I, I mean, just the other women on the island. When yeah, you, that, that, just, that like, whole scene alone. Yeah, when you literally. see a whole parade of women on horses and with spears. Yeah, and when they come like... Fucking people like, up with guns? Yeah, there's people with guns coming up that's on them. That's all you need. Like, hey, fuck it. Fire your arrows. Like, shoot it into the wall and literally swing down. Like, what? Who fucking does that? Mm -hmm. We do. And yeah. they did. Like, yeah, granted, some of them died doing it. And that was one of the first things you see. And it's sad as fuck. But some real Mongolian warfare going on. No, here. seriously, like and some it's like real dude, shit, dude. And the Mongols would fuck you up, and, and they would fuck you. I'm up. I'm really happy that they made this in World War One too, mm -hmm. instead of World War Two. Like they could have easily done a World War Two movie. Everyone and, does a fucking yeah, World War. Everyone II does movie. a World War. World II. War One is one of the most underrated settings in a movie. It's and uh, shout out to World Ball Out Jones in the Periscope saying that we're spinning some facts right now. Hey, what's shout going on? Shout that out. Man. Shout, shout that out, out real definitely. quick. Definitely. Thanks um, for being here. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm not trying to cut away from your points, but. But I do think we need to segue no, 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 into yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the spot. Can you give me like three things? And I, it, it's a ceiling, so it can be a max of three things. Like if there's a lot more, pick three. What no, are no, some no, things that you don't like? No, I'm saying uh, get, get your negatives out, non-spoilers, of course. But let's just get that out. Let's score it. And then let's go into the spoilers where we're going to go balls to the wall with yeah, all the yeah. important information. If you haven't seen Wonder Woman, we'll give you the little... Fuck you, but uh, <laughs> oh, oh! Before before I get that, I because I said there were three points that they made or in the movie. I want to just say yeah. the other two points. I won't get into detail. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It was just for you. time. Was, I was rambling. That was my producer mind coming yeah, yeah. in for time strength. I'll be no, here all good. day, dude. We're um, good. Uh, other two points are she, like I said, she challenges or she makes a stand for female empowerment. She also makes a stand for like a, she's a symbol for pure freedom and openness. You know the way she was being like super honest and open with everyone, really kind of like questioning like why do you like. Like, fuck with your life the way you do, you know? Yes. And then, um, like, this kind of ties in the same idea, but more broad. It's just, she's just, this movie and she are now a symbol for, like, challenging belief in the way we live our lives. You know, the whole, like, um, why do you, why do you let this little watch tell you what to do, you know? 
why are you not allowed to sleep next to me on this boat? Mm-hmm. Uh, My why? favorite scene in the whole and, movie, by like, the way. Literally just questioning little things like that apply to our lives. It's satirization of our lifestyle. And then uh, just the way she's like, where's the honor in killing someone that you can't see when she's talking to the sniper? Mm-hmm. And don't get paid for honor. That's like, it's true, both of them, what they're saying, but like, where you stand is up to you and i think that's like really cool and like you know just the being straightforward with men or with the generals and everything you're gonna you're gonna just let this stuff happen to people like you're gonna treat them like their lives mean less than yours not only that but what subsequently happens in that scene where she not only goes off on him but then goes off on the person that she's more directly associated with because it's a fucking flaw in character and she doesn't want to understand she can't fathom yeah, like, someone not being as pure and knowing of what is going on and what's right for the country and for the people exactly and she just can't handle being just, associated with someone like and that and i love that they're like making it so abundantly clear that it just in in this person's head in wonder woman's head this person who by the end of this movie we should all be trying to be more like this person definitely if we're trying to be more like this person then it should be it should be like a, it should be us we should be questioning people like why is it not normal or why is it normal for you to not want to be the best person you can be like why is it okay for you to do certain things that you would say are shitty to other people you know exactly and i think that Putting that in a movie and making that such an obvious thing to put in a movie at this time is perfect. Especially a blockbuster like this. It's going to reach so many people. Exactly. Hopefully, there are more people seeing That's this. That's the beauty like, of it. Is yeah. More and more people are going to see this message. And more people at an adolescent age, by capitalizing on what the genre is, kids love superhero films. Kids are assholes. <laughs> so why don't we take them at their most vulnerable state and teach them something good? And this yeah. movie does both, man. It satisfies their love of superheroes, but also satisfies the world's need for more respectful individuals at an adolescent age for them to grow up and mature as normal fucking human beings so that we can all control tribute to the place that we fucking live in and apply every good practice that we can learn and feel in our fucking hearts and just bring it to everything that we do and i'm not saying wonder woman's gonna make everybody the most perfect person but it's gonna make people aware of what's important more so than just superheroes like fighting people. the way you know what or it's at least gonna nudge them towards that you know it, like even if it doesn't nudge them it made them it gave them the chance to be aware yeah and that's all we can give that's yeah. it as as art givers i'm not an artist i make podcasts while that can argue to be art it's not what patty jenkins did with this film and i it's as beautiful, an art piece guys. i it's love really this beautiful movie. yeah um i just wanted to sorry i got real passionate right there no no like, it's, fuck it's, everybody no, dude, because we do live in a shitty place and it's and I don't mean a place as in like Lake Elsinore sucks, <laughs> Lake Elsinore, California, the worst oh, place you broke in the, the world. Wall. Oh, dude, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, wherever you live, dude, everyone comes from a hometown that you just get tired of. And like, it's very easy to put each other in boxes and just look at like the world of Elsinore or your Elsinore, whatever that is. If you live in bumfuck Kentucky, like I feel for you, bro. But we got to look at things on a bigger scale. And like Wonder Woman allowed me to do that in it's not the first time I've ever done that, but it definitely opens up to mainstream ideas aligning with something as important as that. Yeah. And that's all. Like, that's that's as much as we can give to you to not be a fucked up person. And we're all fucked up people. I do dumb shit. I think dumb shit. I say dumb shit. <laughs> but more and more that we become aware to what's right and what should happen and equality and all those good stuffs allowing some kick-ass woman with the sword to preach that to us like it's more than that but at least that exists for the people who are too idiotic and innocent or ignorant sorry not innocent fuck y'all innocence um ignorance like ignorance is bliss but if you at least give people the tools and the vehicles to apply and have a more open mind ignorance is that's all we but it's not an excuse oh no i didn't mean that i just meant that like we can't make people see the things that we're trying to make them see whatever it is but yeah. if we give them the vehicles to allow themselves to, and that's this, all you can this really being do. In the man. mainstream is like, is yep. that vehicle? It's that tool, and I love that. Like, Definitely, I love. I mean, watching this movie the second time through, especially just because like seeing what it was, and if you didn't know, Kyle saw it twice. <laughs> It's just giving him shit. Just know, right? him shit. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but definitely, like when I was watching it again, it was like. Wow, like I'm really noticing now, like I'm seeing in this movie how the world is changing and I, I really like it. I'm happy to see the world change in such a positive way and hopefully it kicks off 
bigger than this movie. Now, speaking of kicking off, let's kick off the spoiler section of this review. What wait, do you want to talk wait, about? Wait, 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 no? wait, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. I just want to say the pacing in this movie. Oh, I could actually talk about that in spoilers. Let's, let's get into that. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, fuck y'all. That's our new thing, by the way. Hey, We're fuck gonna y'all. Say, if you haven't seen Wonder Woman, fuck, fuck y'all. y'all. That's the last. <laughs> that's the last moment. We're <laughs> rolling off. It's gonna be so good. Oh man, YouTube's <laughs> YouTube's gonna cut our funding. <laughs> All good. Um, yeah, three, two, one. Fuck y'all. Uh, spoilers. Uh, Aries is in this movie, and it's not how you think. I kinda, Yo. That's why I looked at you halfway through this review, dude. Because I feel like I, I, if if we had put a little bit more attention on the mistake that I made earlier by reading the cast and who everybody was, people in their heads would have been like, <laughs> "Danny Houston isn't Aries. What the fuck you talking about? Yeah, oh, motherfuckers. Shit, that's yeah. one of the best parts of the movie is because of. Can you picture this movie having a more satisfying third act? Which I'm not saying the third act was the most satisfying thing in the world, but definitely better than BVS. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna. <laughs> I, can we just say that we're not gonna compare this to the other DC yeah, movies for this yeah. review because it's clear it's this movie is better a thousand times better. But we don't need to. Let's just look at Wonder Woman like it's its own thing. Like let's act Honestly, like this I, is I, Iron Man. Like if I'm being real, I am looking at Wonder Woman like it is its, its own movie because not only is it just on a whole different level within the DCEU, it's not even, in my opinion, it's it's a better movie than a superhero movie. Like I yeah. think I think it is a great movie, and I don't care that it's not as good of a superhero movie as other superhero movies are. Yeah, this movie on its own, I fucking love it. Mm-hmm. Like I will rewatch this movie over and over. Great. Um, what? I- <laughs> Great. Let's no. get into like fuck. Sorry, no, but I want to get into some negatives because I feel like we're so overly positive that like I'm not trying to shit on this movie. I think this movie is fantastic. It's I didn't re- rate it for the non-spoiler people. So yeah. If you're if you're staying tuned to get spoiled <laughs> yeah, for a score, it's an eight out of ten. Yeah, if you're still And for those I, only tuning in for the spoiler section, I just spoiled my score. Good job. That was my that was my great hosting <laughs> that was, ability. That was his awkward. You, you feel that segue in your fucking fucking blood dog? It's running through what the stream. It was not there. Uh, I segued into oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't really segue. <laughs> there, there wasn't a segue. I just, I just made a pun. Point, point stopped and you awkwardly smiled. I love you. Uh, but what I, I just want to say is that, like, fuck, I lost my point. Uh, we, we haven't been talking about good things. Or, or we haven't yeah, been yeah, we've been about overly talking about the good things. I just want to point out this movie isn't perfect to me. Uh, while if I could say a cultural relevance score is a 10 out of 10, I don't think this movie is a 10 out of 10. No, no, no. So I'm either. going to apply the art, and I'm going to tell you how it is. Uh, that bitch who played Dr. Poison, not the best actress. <laughs> uh, Gal Gadot. Uh, I can't come out and say anything directly negative but what will i will say is that i'm excited to see how her acting improves going into wonder woman 2 i didn't think it was bad and it's I honestly, not bad that's why i'm not saying it's a negative no i know I'm, i wouldn't even put it in the negative side of this venn diagram that this movie is in my oh, head okay. i, I thought just, you were leaning towards that way. no it's like a neutral thing it's like i know she's not that good of an actress and i can see this when she is saying words I can physically see this in my head for what my parameter is yeah. of an, a good actor. Like I watch that and I'm like, but it was never enough for me to look at you and laugh during the movie. It was never enough for me to detract her character motivation. And that my friends is the act of a good actress. And like, I can't, say anything negative i'm excited though to see how it improves would you going into the second one you see you how i'm being very coy i could yeah, shit yeah, on yeah. it but i don't want to because that's not the point right like, i right. don't want people i don't want to give anybody the opportunity to pinpoint that one part of this review where i say gal gadot isn't a good actress i'm trying to say that like she's not a bad actress she actually takes the character in the best possible places for what we need of this movie and of this character but I'm really excited for her to see where she comes after getting the roles from this movie, depending on when this movie starts filming. She may have another project or two. Yeah. I'm excited to see that come in, come in, come in, come in. Like you're saying, maybe this is a good stepping stone for her to get into her Oscar fronts. But I'm excited for Wonder Woman 2 to see her. Three, my other thing, the pacing in this movie. Holy shit. <laughs> like, there's, 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 it's an almost impossible thing for me to watch a movie and not and you know me as a person i'm very nitpicky with my shots this is like my complaint coming out of silence was like 
the editing was weird. And I don't even know how bad the editing was because it was like one of the only things it was nominated for at the Oscars. <laughs> so it's like, what the fuck? But I, like certain things in the shots of this movie, it's like I ha- my biggest problem with BVS is that I can physically see where you stitched the vignettes of I need to get across this point in this 15 minute arc. I need to get across at this point. And it literally felt like they had a bunch of 15-minute patches and they just stitched them together to make this yeah. two-hour and 30-minute film. Not that bad in this movie. Not at all. I don't feel that way. But if I can physically see where you're trying to move along the plot in certain ways by showing us certain scenes, the first time that we cut to Danny Houston, that is my least favorite cut in the whole movie. That juxtaposition of the beautiful shot with them in the boat cutting to Danny Houston right after and him walking along, like that. Is whole, that where the was that I, where you I, first seen? That's what, I just said that out of my head. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it's another no, moment. No, no, like I that. think you're right. I think I'm right too because there's a certain thing that they're trying to portray, and that boat scene signifies to me. It's my favorite scene of dialogue. It's my favorite scene period in the movie. Um, but that whole point f- before that, up until that point, you're trying to convey a certain thing. Like Diane is like kind of quirky in a way where she doesn't understand like men, but like she's also coming into her own to make this decision to go with uh, Chris Pine's character. Yeah. Like there's a very, you're trying to display Diana Prince's independence to sh- forefront her beliefs and ideology of Wonder Woman. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to portray like this is an independent woman who's going to do what she believes is right despite who that's going to hurt. She needs to prove to herself as Diana Prince that she's something greater because inside of her she believes that Wonder Woman lives in her eternally. Like she is Wonder Woman always before she even puts on the lasso or whatever. Like that is the point to me in the first act. That's not a complaint. But the minute that you're trying to play into these antagonists, like it almost felt like like I could have watched the movie. Like the next scene could have been them waking up on the boat in the morning. Like I would have been more okay with that. But just how it's like it's because it's a movie and because it's a superhero movie, you do need to have these things and it does give characters motivation. I'm not arguing with like the point of an antagonist in the film. Obviously you need an antagonist in your film, but just when they introduce them, like this is the character development for the bad guy. That's what I felt like. It was like internally in my head. It made me feel like it kind of was just like, I was expecting them to just literally, I was expecting Bum, bum, right? Bum, yes. Bum, yes. Bum, and if you bum, have that music, it's okay bum. because then there's a humor to it because it's like, oh, that's the bad guy. Let me yeah. respect this guy because he has cool music. There's no cool music. He's or not even in humor a to it, but like, like I mean, imagine when Star Wars came out. I'm saying f- as movie lovers like us, like we can pick out little thematic cues. No, no, I get, cues that. I get for that. that. But there I was mean, no thematic cues for the, but that. But that's character. not what I meant. Like that's no, not how. That's when I was expecting the music like that. I wasn't literally expecting the Darth Vader like Imperial March, but I was expecting music in that tone, of course, to set it up. Like imagine when Star Wars first came out and you very the very first time you hear that bum 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 Yeah, the Matic cues. Bum, That's what I'm saying. Bum. It's like you need the bad guy cue and there was nothing about but that. But it wasn't like a bad guy cue like, oh, that's kind of funny that they would do it like that. It was more like bad guy cue like, oh, this is the bad guy. Like obviously we it wouldn't be the same type of music because the the feel of what of music yeah, like what music does to us now versus what music did to people back then and what styles of music did the same things. Obviously, that changes with time. So I, I was just expecting like there to be some kind of like better music that just sets it up like this is your fucking bad, bad dude. Mm-hmm. And there wasn't really. And, yeah, it was just kind of like, oh, there's some bad music. Like, I don't know. There's just little things. It, it's not even worth me like talking about from longer than I already have. Yeah. I just want to point out that there are things with the movie where if you're setting your heights to the 10 out of 10 realm uh for a movie it's not in my opinion there are things that if you are serious about film as we try to be at least and are i mean yeah film means so much to me guys like yeah a lot <laughs> but like if you're if you're thinking that this is a bad thing it's not but it is something that i noticed and it, it is yeah. my job because i sit at a desk to talk about movies to bring that to you so that's my opinion right um same here like it's again it's not a bad thing for me but like i said before like patty jenkins loved slow-mo i mean she really fucking loved slow-mo man like throughout this whole movie it's just uh i mean when you see that very first scene when you see her disrobe not disrobe but like she pulls off the coat and uh she runs up into no man's land and everyone's like she's got she's taking all the fire god it's it's so hard for me to not talk about good things when like i think of things like that but uh, when you see her go through that scene and everything is like, it's just a really well done scene. Everything does slow down a lot there too. And then when she's in the village and they, they take out that bell tower 
And when she runs into the village for the first time and she's like jumping through the walls and shit and just beating the shit out of everyone inside, sliding down, takes out the one pole with their sword and everything. Everything's very slowed down. Like there's a lot of slow, fast, slow, Mm -hmm. fast, slow. Mm -hmm. It's like that. And it's like in my head, it's not a bad thing because I thought it was done very like in a really cool way. But I know there are people who are even more against slow-mo than I am who would just be like, God, this fucking slow-mo is killing me. Why can't we just see the scene? Like, I'm sure there are people out there who think that an action movie is better made when they've got the Liam Neeson taken shaky cam, you know? Right. So uh, I'm sure that there's going to be someone who complains about that, but that's not my complaint in the slightest. I, I just know that there's someone out there who's... Who's no, like, the action in this movie is wonderfully shot. No, I the think. action I thought was awesome. Like I, I think get rid of the shaky cam. I hate that shit. Like, oh, in most movies, yeah, it wasn't a problem for me, and I pinpoint that pretty quick, like just as a person. Like, yeah. If I'm, no, that wasn't a problem in this. Like there was, I didn't think the shaky cam was a thing in this at all. I can't. I didn't notice it. I'll say that. Uh, watch, I'm gonna be looking for it now. Oh know. yeah. Ah! Oh shit, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, I'm gonna watch it a third time and then be like, where's that? Where's that? By the way, guys, if Kyle saw this yeah. another time. It would be his third time. Yeah. That's math. If I, if I if I didn't though, I I will have still saw it twice. Can we talk about the one thing that was so empowered? <laughs> That's also math. <laughs> Can we talk about the thing that was just so ingrained in my head? Like when I walked out of that movie and I oh Gus Kyle, what was ingrained in my head? Everybody's what, what, favorite game show, what was ingrained in Gus's head? <laughs> no, I don't know why I pitched it like that. What was ingrained in my head though, walking out of the movie was Chris Pine, man. Oh, I I just no no no. I want to throw this out there. And I'm just throwing this out there. Is Chris Pine the greatest supporting man in Hollywood? Um, Name a movie where he is not ensemble movies because like Star Trek, I don't even picture him as the leading man because that movie's so enthralled on an ensemble. Yeah, they made it very clear that... that, If you put Chris Pine in an ensemble or if you put him in the supporting actor role, holy fucking shit, Hell or High Water. Like, there's just so many movies where you watch him. still. Bruh, like Chris Pine is phenomenal when he doesn't have the pressure to lead the movie. Yeah. And it's something yeah, weird. Yeah, like that Finest Hours movie. It's Ugh. not good. It's yeah, not no, good. It's suck. just he's trying too hard. And it's not uh, – I'm Chris Pine, if you watch this for some reason, I'm not saying you're trying too hard. That's just what it looks like to me. Like, I, 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 Yeah, I, I think that was more of a victim of the script. No, well, I'm saying that like – Okay, then if that's the case, then we can't... I don't know if we can blame writing problems or directing problems for every single leading man movie that he does because they're. if you look at the numbers, dude, it's facts. Like, all the movies that he stars in versus box office versus critical score versus the movies that he's a supporting man in, it's so much lower. It's weird. Let's think about, like, who directed these movies too, though, because maybe the director was able to get it out of it. That was the segue that I'm saying is, like, it's, it's not a... If Chris Pine was a Hollywood leading man, people would show up week one for Chris Pine, despite what the movie's quality is, and right. then wouldn't ever watch it again if it was that bad. But like, that's the definition of a leading man, in my opinion. Is like, if Tom Hiddleston's in a movie because of Loki, people were more inclined to go watch him as like just being Tom Hiddleston, yeah. whether or not it was him being Loki or not, or Loki isms. Like, that's just it. Chris Pine historically hasn't been that. And if it is a director problem, then that's so many director problems to where he needs to fire his fucking agents because he's such a good actor you well, watch no, him in no, a movie that's where- not what i mean i mean like what if what if these directors who have him as uh supporting roles what if they're better directors and they're able to bring out of him something that he's not able to do well, I, i'm not my point to- isn't on the directing in this movie my point really with chris pine and why i think he's so fucking good in this movie is that without chris pine a lot of the scenes where Gal Gadot needs to show, damn it, Gal Gadot would uh, needs to show emotion, dude. Like, I believe, I firmly see it on screen for some reason. I don't know if I'm making it up in my head, but the whole time that I, and I've seen this movie once, so I need to watch it again and again and really get a grasp on it. But my first viewing pick, and this is an opinion, so like I'm not trying to come at you with facts, but it looked like a lot of the scenes I felt more like I felt. Godot's emotion being 
portrayed off of Chris Pine's character's emotion. Like, what would Diana feel because Chris Pine is killing it and identifying so fucking hard as Steve Trevor? Like, he was in the embodiment of Steve Trevor. The minute I saw him, the minute I saw him in that Justice League photo, too, you're just like, I get the character that you are because you look like it and just yeah. the face in that one picture. Yeah. Like, there's something to that. And when you're able to exemplify that so well, like... I, I don't know. Like maybe that's just me giving a hard time to Godot, but I don't know, man. There's just something to his performance in this movie that just needs a fucking a round of applause because every single person who's in a scene with him, whether it's his receptionist or secretary uh, or just Godot herself, like everybody is heightened to some level in my eyes. And I don't know if that's just in my head. I got to see it again, but that's my opinion. I don't know. What do you think of Chris Pine's performance? I think he was great. I mean, uh, I, I fucked up in my reaction video. I said that I I was angry that he was he had an American accent even though he was British. He was not British. He just said his line really fast when he was all lassoed up. He said really quickly, I'm Steve Trevor, blah, 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 American intelligence. I, I'm assigned to the British. Yeah. And I heard uh, British intel. I didn't uh. hear assigned to British intel. And I for whatever reason, I don't know why. So in my reaction video, I did say that that was a negative and I got mad about that. Um <laughs> So if anyone here watched the reaction video, just know that I, it's now later on in the pe- in the timeline of our existence, and I have acknowledged that that is not true. Yeah, boy. So anyway, um, no, I thought I thought Chris Pine was awesome. Like you said, like um, I'm sure there were like throughout the movie, I might have noticed it once or twice, but it didn't stick with me. But what you're saying about you know her emotions reflecting off of him. I can definitely see that. Like, I, I know what you're talking about, which makes me think that I did notice it sometime too. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, honest, to be like honest, I was really just watch watching this movie. I was focused a lot on Gal Gadot because uh, I just I really wanted to see if she could live up to the hype and if this this movie in general. I wanted to see if it lived up to the hype, but you know. Where the hype is focused, I want to focus on as well because I want. My thing is, I just when I was first going into this movie, I was afraid that it was gonna be like everyone talking about how good this movie is because of how important it had the potential to be, and yes. whether or not it was actually good. I thought people were gonna talk about it this way, regardless, and I still think that some people may be doing that. Like maybe some people out there are saying all these really great things about Wonder Woman, even though they might not have even seen the movie yet. And I think, mm. I'm think i sure there are people out there who are doing that. But now that I've seen the movie... Twice. Uh, I know that regardless of what people are saying, if they're saying something good, this movie does deserve it. So that's I think that's cool. Yeah, definitely. But I was focused a lot on a lot more on Gal's performance than Chris Pine's performance. Uh, just... Just because of where just the hype watch was. it for me. Can you do that for me next time you see it, whether it's on a VOD yeah. or whatever? Like, just check it out and just tell me if I'm crazy. No, no, you're I'm definitely gonna see not. it again and I'm gonna pay attention. But like, honestly, like I put Chris Pine up here with the leading man. Like, I almost want to make, and I'm not saying this, but it's it's one of those things where it's like, shit. What was the guy's name who should have been nominated for the Oscar in Hell or Ben Howell? Foster. Ben Foster's a great actor, man. And maybe he has an agent problem too, but every time he's in a leading role, it doesn't work yeah, out. No. It doesn't. Like uh, Ben Hur, we just saw amazing. this this year. Ben Hur, like or last year, whatever yeah. it was, like that wasn't a good movie. And whether it's a director problem or an agent problem, it's still the perception of Ben Foster yeah. as a leading actor doesn't work. Whether or not that's a fact to you, it's Which an opinion crazy. of mine. Exactly. But then you watch him in Hell or High Water with Chris Pine, and it you watch him in anything in any of his supporting roles. It's like, exactly, man. Some people just aren't meant to be, but some people are better for it. And I honestly believe Chris Pine and Ben Foster are the two on those lists where I can think of. But I've never seen a performance like Ben Foster's where it was like Oscar worthy, in my opinion. Like it, it, it you never mean from Chris Pine. It, no, from from Ben Foster. I'm saying. I'm saying I've never really felt that way. And maybe there's a movie that I haven't seen where it should have happened. But like, there's never been a movie with an actor that wasn't on my list of like, oh my God, that guy killed it. Like that movie punched me in the fucking jaw. Like I was just like, oh, like, holy shit. 
that is uh, this fucking yeah. 10 out of 10 yeah. i didn't give it that but you know what i mean man like there's something about that movie and the power of the acting in that movie and like the characters and like how you feel and what their like motivation everything are. the arc of their character that the... is one of the most tight scripts in hollywood and if you need to make a movie as an indie filmmaker you should watch hell or high water a thousand times if, if you haven't if you haven't already seen it do go listen to our hell or high water review but I, I, my point is is that like is there an argument to be made based on how i feel that maybe there was something that chris barnes performed no no i think you're right foster you know what i mean maybe yeah. there was something about the two on screen and maybe it wasn't it, the, i've seen better performances out of chris pine is what i'm saying than ben foster but yeah. all of a sudden now they're in almost every scene together and now ben foster's acting his ass off there's some magical totem regardless yeah. about chris pine to bring performances out of people no, definitely. that i what never that saw other chris pine movie where like he fast. was uh it, it was him and some other dude and they were both like spies chris pine? it was a comedy yeah it was chris pine and some other Horrible like bosses he played the boss's dad and no, was, no no like, no 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 it was, it was this movie it was just him and one other dude and they're both spies I'm and uh they're like comp- it, this is war this means war oh yeah, 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 yeah i don't remember who the other guy was but i remember seeing clips of that movie and being like oh this guy's not bad or he's better in this movie than um tom hardy yeah wait what yeah that's tom hardy that was Tom Hardy? Yeah, I'm looking right at him, man. He's on the poster. Man, maybe I'm thinking of a different it's movie. It's him and Reese w- Witherspoon? True. No, I mean, he's he plays FDR. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I've never seen it, though. Uh, maybe I need to rewatch that movie. I might have oh, no, been... Plays, he plays Franklin FDR Foster. That's really misleading to put yeah. FDR. I'm like, Franklin D. Rose about... I'm like, wait, he plays FDR? This is a whole different movie. I'm like, I'm already fucked. I didn't realize it was Tom Hardy. Jesus Christ. That's great. Um... Just to throw this out there, Chris Pine is the uh, the variable, or I mean the constant, between the two highest uh, budgeted women's movies. Yeah? Yeah, he's also in A Wrinkle in Time, apparently. He's playing oh, Doc- right on. He's playing Dr. Alexander Murray. He's playing the dad? Yeah. <gasps> this is going to be great. I can't mm, wait. I love Chris Pine. Be my dad. <laughs> um, Can we close this out? Yeah. It's been yeah, a long fucking review. Go see this movie. That's the point. We haven't yeah, had any, really. like we, anything really bad We've talked about to two say. bad things that we can't even admit are fully bad yeah. things. <laughs> and it, it, yeah, and I may watch it again and be like, oh, I'm bad. I do think there's a pacing problem with this movie, but it doesn't detract from the message that it's trying to display and how yep. fucking quality that message is. I think there was a lot of sl- uh, slow-mo in this movie, but it does not detract from how badass the movie is and mm-hmm. how great the movie looks. So. Is there? Is oh, and yeah, in 3D, it looks good. Oh, okay. Like, it, in 3D? Yeah, it's a good 3D movie. So if you haven't seen it and you're all the way here at the spoiler part of it, then I'm sorry, but uh, if you're still thinking maybe I want to see it again, I haven't seen it in 3D, go see it in 3D. It's awesome. I can't get behind any 3D performance or movie, so uh, <laughs> I can't really comment. Oh, this is your this is your <laughs> sports games thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what sports game? It's like, like oh. Alex and sports games. Oh, I'm like, go see 3D movies. You're the fucking oh. 3D movies. Fuck 3D movies. Fuck NBA 2K18. <laughs> nah, yeah. There's something There's something to my feelings, dude. It's 3D I, movies. Now's not the my, time or the place. My PS Vita. That's a good CR topic, dog. That's a good CR topic. Yeah. Hey, man. If you want to fight for what you believe in, I'm, I'm for that. Even PS if it's Vita, stupid. I hope. I hope Alex is both not into 3D movies and the PS Vita so that we can both talk about those things. <laughs> I don't think Alex has an opinion of 3D movies. I don't know, though. Oh, Alex is that guy. He's like, you fucking like 3D movies? Tweet at I underscore am underscore jamming 13. Uh, last with one M. You, yeah, with one M. Uh, ask him if he likes 3D movies. Just do it to it, to it for us. And if I see that shit, I know you watched our review. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, my name's Garrett at Yogurt. Oh, wait, Fucking no. What's 12, your, uh, 13 what's people? Like? Oh, I, I give this movie uh, 8.8 8. 8 out of 10. Okay. I liked it a lot. Give I it wouldn't a, say it's quite a 9, but... Give it an 8 out of 10. All right. Just an 8. Just a flat 8. It's almost 9 for me. An 8.1, just a fuck. And 7.9, just a really pit. No, <laughs> just to piss some other people off. <laughs> it's 8. Man, it's, you, it's, you're it's, not going to give it almost a 9? How dare you? It's, a, it's an 8. You it's mean you're not even gonna give it an A? It's a great film. Go see no, it, guys. It is seriously, great. Uh, very good movie. Apply the apply the points they're making to your life too. You'll just be a better person. So. Tweet at Gal Gadot. Ask her how to say her name because I can't <laughs> tell you because I've changed it like four times in this one review. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at yogurt y o g r r t t. If you fuck with video games, this is a big week for video games coming up. E three twenty seventeen. Get excited! And game show is going to be there for you this weekend, uh, June tenth at noon let's just say noon we'll be there live for you we love you what's up i don't know what four means the four horsemen are coming to fuck your shit up
that had no context to anything. I don't know why, but I'm, like, I'm so excited for someone to just Are you watch a fan that. Of now you see me too. No, because oh, I know you don't like. The oh, X-Men the four. Apocalypse. Oh shit! Yeah, I fucking hate that movie. Holy shit! <laughs> I haven't seen Now You See Me too. I've seen Now You See Me. I man. guess Now You See Me. There's still yeah, the four horsemen. I've so. seen the four horsemen. Yeah, I like those guys. I like magic. And cards. I like I like magic. I like and cards. The first Ooh. one's better. I like rabbits. Yeah. I, would, I could have told you that from the poster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Kyle. You catch me on Facebook after the previews. Uh, it's facebook.com slash after the previews. Uh, Twitter, A-T-P-K-Y-L-E, same as Instagram. Not really as much constant rotation stuff there, but, you know, maybe I'll, uh, you know, get better about that. I'm probably getting better about that. I think I am. Just, you know, leave my personal stuff alone, really. You don't want to watch all that. Like, you don't want to see me talk about dumb shit that I don't care about. About. just so, just leave him alone guys he yeah. doesn't want to be talked to today hit me up on the after the preview stuff on facebook and then definitely if you like this video if you like this review even if you don't like this review whatever hit us the like button because you know you're here towards the end of the video you've been here that long might as well just like it instead Parfait if you're Lord. new here hit that subscribe whether you're on facebook youtube twitter whatever twitch uh subscribe to us on everything because mm-hmm. we'll make your life better now shut off your cell phone. And we'll be here every week till you die. Or if I die first. Or if Kyle dies. <laughs> then I'm going to probably just start my own channel. 